What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about the summer update and will it be a game changer? Now when Red Dead 2 was announced, of course I was very excited. I loved Red Dead Revolver. I loved Red Dead 1. But once the Red Dead Online was announced, I was very excited as well for that because I was looking at a, uh, an option to have a way to play the game for even more hours after you have completed the story. And of course, you know, when you play the story, you can play the, the story for probably... 50 to 100 hours and still maybe not complete everything but once you have you have an option to go into the online mode and uh, have a lot of fun as well the thing that really got me excited was I looked at GTA 5 you know what they've done for GTA online and how so many people have continued to play that game so many big updates so many changes you know just a a, a large community with lots and lots of updates lots of fun things and fun activities to do and I was really hoping for some stuff like that to come to Red Dead Online. Now, while all of that still may come eventually, it may take a while, I'm still kind of looking at what has happened so far to not be that great. If you really think about it, the first few weeks now of kind of the summer, we did get a lot of weekly updates that were very good, new clothing, new game mode, stuff like that. But over the past several weeks, it's kind of just slowed down and not been a lot of content that was... Just kind of filler, in my opinion. Uh, I think the summer update could be a huge game changer for the simple fact of it's going to add new characters or new roles to play. So you'll have things to do, things to grind out. Hopefully, they're going to add some new looting systems. They said there's going to be a lot more loot. Hopefully, there'll be a way to make money a little bit easier. Hopefully, there will be some things that's going to continue to kind of progress throughout the next you know several months into next year where it's going to keep adding things to the game to keep people coming back because there's there's not a lot of stuff coming out this year it's kind of a slow year for video games of course all i think all of the creators and makers of games are kind of waiting for that next gen to kind of hit but i don't want red dead to just kind of you know get a few small updates get a big summer update a few more small updates nothing really you know game changing i want things to consistently stay every couple months kind of evolving the game to make it more enjoyable now while i think the summer update like i said could definitely do that i think the summer update could be a game changer there's still a lot of issues here of course you've lost some of the player base in my opinion because of the slow kind of uh, addition of things being added to red dead online of course gta online has the new casino update so a lot of people are back playing that the main thing in my opinion is the error codes now i've made videos about this in the past some people can get fixes for it some can't but there are tons of people day in and day out that get error codes non-stop when they play and no matter how good your update is if this summer update is the game changer that makes this game just blow up uh, in the online mode what's it really going to matter considering most people can't even log in and play very long hopefully there will be some fixes to all of this stuff. Like I said, I hope that this summer update brings more than just the roles because after after a while, it's going to kind of be like it is now when you're kind of upgrading your role and, and kind of you know ranking that system up. You're going to be back to that point of where you're just kind of doing the same thing day in and day out. And I think that's why a lot of people have not really played Red Dead Online a lot lately because those same stranger missions uh, and main story missions kind of get boring. But hopefully they will get the error codes fixed. Hopefully the new role system will be a fun kind of grind to unlock and not be something you can do very quickly. You know, hopefully they will add the new uh, kind of change to your appearance. I kind of hope they add where you can make additional characters. I would like that as well. Hopefully they will add a new looting system where there's more loot. Because they've discussed that there's going to be more loot in the game with this update. Hopefully they will add a way to make more money. I hope they add the housing soon because that was talked about back before the game was even released. And we have not heard a thing about being able to purchase a home since that casino update is up uh, for GTA has kind of opened up a lot of possibilities for here as well. To me, you could own saloons, you could own, you know, places where you could play poker, you know, whatever the case may be. But all in all, I think the update could be a big game changer. But with the addition of all of the error code problems, I think it also could just a lot of the core issues within the game and then kind of build on this summer update because if this summer update is a, an enjoyable thing and a lot of people enjoy playing with these new roles i think that uh, red dead online could definitely take off going into the rest of the year and into next year with some more updates coming soon hopefully anyway guys leave me a comment let me know what you think about all of this and if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace